Some of tennis's biggest names are reacting to the public absence of Chinese tennis star Peng Shui. Serena Williams took to Twitter on Thursday saying she's devastated and shocked about the situation. I am devastated and shocked to hear the news about my peer Peng Shui. I hope she is safe and found as soon as possible. This must be investigated and we must not stay silent. Sending love to her and her family during this incredibly difficult time. Hashtag where is Peng Shui? Her post reads. Naomi Osaka also spoke out earlier in the week writing quote, Hey everyone, not sure if you've been following the news, but I was recently informed of a fellow tennis player that has gone missing shortly after being sexually abused. Censorship is never okay at any cost. I hope Peng Shui and her family are safe and okay. I'm in shock of the current situation and I'm sending love and light her way. Andy Murray also addressed the situation, writing in part, Female tennis player Peng Shui whereabouts currently unknown after making sexual abuse allegations against Chinese government official. The messages come after Peng posted a now-deleted message on Chinese social media site Weibo on November 2nd, accusing a Chinese government official of allegedly sexually assaulting her, according to NBC News. Since the message was posted, the athlete hasn't been seen in public, causing alarm to many. An email was sent to the Women's Tennis Association from China's state-owned news channel claiming she was fine, but WTA's chairman Steve Simon says the email raised, quote, concerns about her safety and whereabouts, according to NBC News. The United Nations has since called for proof of Peng's whereabouts, and the head of the WTA has called for Peng's allegations to be investigated and for proof that she is okay, even saying the organization is willing to lose revenue in China if the situation isn't addressed, according to CNN. Chinese officials reportedly didn't respond to an NBC News request for comment this month when the allegations were posted. And the foreign ministry again didn't reply to NBC News on Wednesday. NBC News reports that the Chinese government official, who is retired and is no longer in the public eye, couldn't be reached by NBC News for a response.